Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my one year surge anniversary video. I am literally mind blown that it's been a year. Like, what a freaking year. So actually one year ago today is the day that I posted the video announcing that I was having surgery. So I wasn't even planning on filming this video today. It's kind of like a spur of a moment thing. So I don't have anything written down. I do know that I wanna split this video into two different parts. So the one you're watching right now is going to be in depth on my experience, mental health when it comes to surgery, pros and cons when it comes to surgery, um, and then kind of like random questions that I get a ton I'm gonna answer in this video. And then next week's video is going to be a how I lost 90 pounds video which is going to go in depth on fitness and uh, eating habits so that will go up next week this is gonna be this week this week is gonna be a little bit more personable um, and I'm gonna go a little bit it's gonna be like a lot more talking like this video is probably gonna be long bear with me a year ago today I posted my announcing that I was having surgery and then two days later March 10th the day that you guys are watching this I had surgery so what well, it's been a year it's been a year it's been a year this year how was a lot of like big things happened this year I turned 21 this year I obviously had surgery so I lost 90 pounds 92 to be exact I got into a relationship I ended that relationship I lost friends I gained a lot of friends I reconnected with a ton of people I got to travel like I just I lived this year like I lived and I felt like I lived and it that's like kind of the biggest change I guess I've seen since surgery is like I just feel more alive like I feel more energized like that's a big part but just like I feel like I take experiences so much better now like I just I can't even tell you how to like describe it it's almost like I absorb life better now and I know that sounds so bizarre but like I do and you know a lot of it is because I am a lot more confident but that's not all of it because I struggled a lot this year I went through another depression after surgery and I had a lot of anxiety after surgery like a lot of the things that I struggled with when I was overweight I still struggle with today like I have a whole new realm of new insecurities that are really hard for me to deal with and I'm still dealing with them and there's a lot of things that still sit very heavy on my heart and there's a lot of things that I still struggle with but I'm just happier now like <laughs> that's what it comes down to like I just feel more alive so I'm sorry if this video is a lot about mental health and like that's not what you guys want to hear about you want to hear like how I lost the weight but like that's next week's video I really want to talk about I don't know like my just my experience in general like so I so I definitely recommend going back and watching all of my other videos because I will go in depth about like surgeons and the surgery and your doctor and what listening to what your doctor says and all the things that I have gone on and on and on about in the past however many update videos I've made. So if you guys don't get enough information from this video definitely go and check back with those ones. I'll have an entire playlist made and dedicated to surgery videos. So yeah my experience let's start off with the question that I get asked all the time would I do it again and the answer is hell yes I would do it again because with all of the struggles that I've had with surgery I would do it again in a heartbeat like I if I had to do if I had to have surgery again tomorrow like I would do it because yes it's hard like this is not the easy way out by any means but it's so beyond worth it like you're just your quality of life goes up so much and it like makes me sad that I didn't do it a long time ago because if I like I think back to when I was living in LA like I went through a really bad phase in LA a really insecure phase and I you know I've been doing YouTube for so long and that's like the funny thing for me too is like I go back and I look about look at all these videos where I was preaching self-confidence and self-love and positivity and I was like you were lying to the camera like straight up you were a liar because because you still had negative thoughts and like you just didn't want to admit it to yourself that you hated your body and you hated yourself for how your body was like that's the truth and I sit here now like I freaking love myself but like I also some days wake up and I don't recognize the person that I see in the mirror and that is okay because at the end of the day I work hard to love myself and if one day out of seven I wake up and I don't recognize myself those are good odds to me because by the end of the day I know who I am again if that makes sense like I just my recovery time when it comes to insecurities and like negative thoughts is just so much quicker now like I I don't even know how to explain it to you guys and like I hope I'm making sense here but 
this process is really hard on your mental health. It's more hard on your mental health than it is on your physical because the weight melts off. Like, it completely melts off. But it's almost like you're stuck in a fat girl's brain. Like, that is how you feel. And that is how I felt every single day for the past year. Like, I'm still stuck in that girl's brain. And some days I can get out of it and it's great and it's amazing and I feel really cute and hot and sexy and I'm like, yes, girl, work. And then some days I feel like a frumpy girl who nothing fits, nothing looks good on, is not attractive. Like, that's just, that's the truth of it all. So don't think that this is an easy fix when it comes to your mental health. Don't think this is an easy fix when it comes to your physical health because you have to work for this. Like, you have to work hard. <laughs> A big thing that I picked up kind of recently, but I, I was doing it a little bit in the beginning when I first had surgery was journaling. Like that really, really has helped because there's nobody there judging your thoughts. Like, you know, there's nobody there reading your diary. There's nobody there reading your journal. It's just you and your thoughts and you can spew it out and then you can recover really quick. So I have journaled a lot. Um, like I said, I went through a depression after surgery and it I think it really was like the point of time where I was losing a lot of weight and it was because it was like almost like too much too fast and I, not that I was like, that I didn't want it to happen, like that's not what it was. It was just almost like too much change for me. Um, so when I went through my depression, my support system was like amazing. Your support system is key to all of this like there's a reason doctors push it so much and it's because they are the ones that are there every single day like when I feel my worst like when I just wake up in the morning I still feel like I'm 270 pounds I feel gross I feel like my hair doesn't look right my makeup doesn't look right my skin looks gross like whatever it is whatever stupid insecurity is making me feel down that day and I walk into work and my sister's like damn girl you need a tighter pair of pants those are looking way too big on you like that instant confidence boost or when my mom is like honey you're looking really good or when katie's like dude your stomach is looking hella good or my roommate is like seeing me walking around in a sports bra and she's like girl like that the 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 compliments from other people helped me and i know that some people aren't like that some people can't take other people's compliments but that for me is like huge for me because when I look in the mirror, I don't see what other people see. Like some days I see myself this big around and some days I still see myself from a year ago. Like it's just, it's freaking crazy how mental health works. So my support system is really key. They tell me to slow down when I'm eating too much. They tell me to put the bread down at dinner when I have one too many slices. They're just they're everything and I it's so important to have people like that around and it doesn't even have to be like I have told you guys on snapchat if you don't follow me on snapchat please follow me on snapchat so we can be snapchat friends because I live and breathe and die for my snapchat fam like they're freaking amazing um you guys are always like I don't have a support system I don't have somebody to talk to going through this process I don't know anybody who's gone through this process because for me like I watched my mom do this when I was younger so like I've seen her and I've seen her struggle with body dysmorphia and I've seen her struggle with like the girl still buying extra larges when she's damn well knows she's a size medium like I've seen my mom go through that I've also seen my mom gain weight and I've seen my mom lose weight like I have seen her struggle and her journey with this so like it was easy for me to identify with somebody else and it's always easy to go talk to her when I'm struggling with something I oh I just always know she's there so Having somebody like that is always super important and I know a lot of you say that you don't have somebody like that and I'm like girl I will be that for you but not everything can be online like you do need to have somebody who at least supports your decision like I, I genuinely believe that and I it makes me so heartbroken that some people don't have that and I try to be there for you guys as best as you can but just know that I would not be here if it wasn't for my friends and my family because they are absolutely amazing so um other than mental health I know I kind of went on a ramble and I hope you guys can like understand where I'm coming from from that I'm not like listen I'm happy with myself right now in this moment I'm happy with myself but I'm just I just want to warn you guys that there will be new insecurities to replace the old ones I promise you like I remember when I was overweight I hated my legs I hated them like I thought that they were like I just hated them like, I hated hated them and right now my legs are probably my favorite part of my body like they're just so toned from like all the bar that I do and like 
they just look great. Like, to be honest, I have great legs. <laughs> I have great legs. I have a thigh gap coming in. I never even thought a thigh gap was important, but I look at my legs and I'm like, I can see. I can see you, thigh gap. But then I look at my stomach and I look at my arms and my stomach always looks bad in dresses and my arms always look flabby no matter what I do. So it's just like, there will be, and I know that there, it's not like bad. Like I, some days I embrace it. I'm like, YOLO. Embrace the fupa. Embrace the flabby arms. But some days I can't even stand to look at them. So that's the truth when it comes down to it. And I feel like everyone does that. Like whether you've had surgery or not, everyone struggles every single day with insecurities and it's just how you get over those insecurities it's important and it's how you go to bed at night like that's a big thing for me is like I can wake up feeling shitty AF in the morning but as long as I go to bed feeling good that's all that matters I'm actually now going to go through I don't know which video I want to go through let's go through the one month gastric bypass update changed like my mood like it made me not very happy and I would just this is not me you guys <laughs> Let's talk about hair loss because that is something you guys have asked me to update you guys on. Hair loss is shitty AF. Like literally, what the heck? Why did nobody warn me about this? <laughs> I've lost so much hair. My hair is really thin. It's really damaged, which is why we got extensions in. But yeah, so I'm still dealing with that. I'm trying to find the best solution. I'm probably going to end up going back dark soon so that I can stop freaking dyeing it. So I'm probably going to end up going back black pretty soon here um, to try to give my hair a little bit of a break. I'm probably going to stop wearing extensions, which breaks my heart. Actually, probably not. Like, let's be honest, I'm probably not going to stop wearing extensions. Everyone's telling me to stop touching my hair in this video. I'm sorry if I touch my hair in this video, too. It's like a nervous tick, okay? <sighs> okay, so best advice I have for surgery. Um, and they also asked if I did, if I had to get shots, um, to stop from blood clotting. I'm losing the, the yeah, to pre prevent from clotting. Best advice, definitely to try to keep an open mind through this whole process and to try to find a regimen that, like, works for you. I, I'm gonna talk about in depth kind of, like, the ups and downs that I went through with, like, finding a good workout regimen, finding a good eating regimen, all of that, but, like, really test out in this new, like, journey that you have, test out different workouts, like, do yoga, do bar, do heavy lifting, do cardio, like, test out different workouts that work for you, because at the end of the day, this is a lifestyle change, and you have to take it for what it is. Um, there's always a chance of regain when it comes to surgery, like, this isn't a permanent fix so definitely try to right now in this first year where you're like super moldable try to find like things that work for you like I was really big on smoothies for a really long time and like smoothies just worked for me it got me my protein in it got me like some fruit in some sugar so that you know I didn't feel like really low when it come to sh came to sugar and it just worked I'm probably gonna end up having to get back on smoothies soon because now that I've, I'm off of them I'm noticing that like lag that lag of not having enough protein, not having enough sugar, not having enough fruit, like, I feel it. So, yeah, finding, just testing, experimenting with different, like, th things is really, I think is really important in the first year especially. And then, no, I didn't have to get stomach, shots in my stomach for clotting, to prevent clotting. Um, somebody asked how much it costs and what hospital I have it done with. I went through Alsa um, Bariatric in Fresno, California, and cost-wise, I went through insurance, so I did not pay out of pocket. Somebody asked about stitches. Okay, I'm actually going to show you my, well, okay, I have one scar that is really prominent, and then I have the other ones that are not, so I'm going to show you the really prom prominent one, and then I'll show you one that's not so prominent. But I had one scar burst, open, or one stitch burst, um, it was scabbing over, so I didn't have actual stitches. I had the uh, glue. So one of the glue, like some of the glue fell off on one of mine, and it opened up the like first layer of skin. The underneath was still stitched, like I couldn't th see through to my stomach, but the top opened up, and so I have a pretty prominent scar on that one. It doesn't really bother me. It's actually the one that shows the most, but it's still, I don't know, it's not a big deal to me. Scars weren't like really important, but the other ones are really, really faint, so I'll go ahead and show you them now. Okay, so this mark right there is my most prominent scar. It's the top one. So here's my bra strap, and then that's that scar. And then I do have four more. I'll show you how one of them healed. So this is my other one right there. So it's not too bad. I have one right above my belly button. So my belly button's right there, and then there's that scar. And then the last one is over on the side right here. I'm sorry if the angle changed, guys. I had to move my camera to show you those. But yeah, so those are my scars. They're not too bad. I don't really even notice them, to be honest. So, yep, that's that. Somebody asked what eyelashes I was wearing in the video. Um, they would be Shop Lash Boss. Thank you so much. 
Somebody asked if I was able to keep my piercing through surgery. I was, but they did make me take one of my nails off, and y'all know that I only took one off, so. Somebody asked how old I was. I was 20 when I had surgery. I'm 21 now. Also, I get a lot of questions about alcohol. I do drink alcohol. I stay away from anything too, too, too sweet, like... I mean, sometimes, you know, I splurge, but I try to stay away from anything too sweet. Too sweet. I drink a lot of Moscow Mules. That is, like, kind of a go-to for me because it doesn't have a ton of, like, shit in it. Um, I don't do beer, um, and I do get drunk really quick. That's a big thing. You get wasted super, super quick. Like, I'm a two-drink max kind of girl. I'm a cheap date. It's just, that's how it is. But every surgeon is different, so definitely consult your doctor. Like, do not take anything that I'm saying or anything that I have done for, like, Bible. Definitely consult your doctor first before doing any of this. My doctor's fine with alcohol. Yours might not be. Loose skin after surgery. I have loose skin. I, you know, I've gone back and forth debating on if I want to show you guys my stomach. I don't think I'm there yet because, like I said, it's one of my really big insecurities. Um, and I just don't, I don't think that I'm there mentally yet. But one day I will show you guys my stomach. Um, I don't plan on having a tummy tuck anytime soon, but it's definitely something that I've considered in the future. I won't get my arms done and I won't get my legs done because, one, my arms don't bother me that much and my legs have tightened up really well. So I won't be getting those done, but yeah, um, I do have loose skin around my stomach. It's a pain in the ass and it sucks, but what can you do? A lot of you guys have asked me to do what I eat in a day videos, and I have held off from doing it because I honestly don't eat super amazing. Like, if I want Taco Bell, I freaking eat Taco Bell. I just don't get the most fattening thing on the menu. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, I've really tried to focus on not limiting myself to things that I loved back then, but just limiting to myself of, like, what I get. Like, if my friends want to go to Olive Garden, I still go to Olive Garden, I just get a chicken plate instead of a pasta plate. Does, does that make sense? I also really try to restrict myself from overeating because that can obviously stretch out your stomach, but I just, I haven't done a wet and eat in a day video because I don't, like, I'm not a nutritionist and I don't think that that's fair to show you guys what I've been eating and you guys be like, well, my doctor said I can't eat that. And I'm like, I'm sorry, this is just what I eat. Like, I mean, I don't eat shit. Like, I'm not eating freaking McDonald's every day, but yeah, I don't, I mean, like, I don't eat anything special. Um, I eat, like, I snack on almonds and string cheese throughout the day. I will probably usually have a salad for lunch or maybe a sandwich if I'm feeling frisky. For dinner, um, sometimes I will have, like, a little bit of pasta because I do work out at night and, like, carbs really helps to, like, you know, gain muscle and shit like that. <laughs> so I will eat like a little bit of pasta with um, chicken or chicken sausage um, or ground turkey, whatever it may be. So I mean like I don't eat amazing and I, I really just don't want to hear it in the comments. Like to be honest, that's why I haven't done a wet and eat in a day video. I just don't want to hear it. <laughs> okay, I, I, uh, I go back and forth between answering this question, but I, I have gotten it quite a bit. And it's about boys. When I had surgery, um, I did, I was in a relationship. I that relationship was on and off around the time that I had had surgery, but we started dating before my surgery and he was there during surgery, he was there after surgery. If you don't follow me on Snapchat then you wouldn't know, but we did break up recently, about a month ago, so a lot of you guys have asked how my boyfriend dealt with my weight loss, did he get jealous as I started losing weight and getting noticed by other guys, was he helpful in the process, he definitely like I mean, he wasn't unhelpful, but he also wasn't helpful. Like, he wasn't my biggest motivator, but he didn't, like, aid in anything negative, if that makes sense. Um, he was not the jealous type, so no, he didn't get jealous when other guys started paying attention, but that is something that happens. Like, you will notice that you get treated better after surgery, which is bullshit, and it pisses me off, and I want to call people out for it, especially people that, like, treat me better now than they did before. It really irks me. But, um, yeah, he didn't, like, no, he didn't get any, any other, he didn't get jealous about it. He, he was somewhat supportive. Like, if I was overheating, he'd be like, babe, you need to chill. Like, don't freaking overeat. Don't take another bite. Take a smaller bite, whatever it was. But, yeah, he wasn't, I don't know, like, he wasn't, just, that wasn't who he was. Like, that wasn't the type of person he was. So, I didn't hold it against him, but it definitely, you know, kind of sucked. I wish I, I wish and hope that I do have somebody who is supportive in all parts of my life, especially weight loss. And kind of like YouTube and Snapchat in general, like he wasn't really big on like, I don't know, he, yeah, it's just, it was a whole thing. So yeah, I didn't really talk to him about it either, to be honest, because like I said, it just wasn't our relationship. I can definitely see this being really hard on a relationship, and I know a lot of you have told me that it's been hard on your relationship. Um, I think it takes a, like a really strong person 
to decide this for themselves. I've said that before, like this is a really selfish decision and I can see it being a hard one if you are a wife or you are like in a serious relationship, especially if you're a mother. Like I can see all that being really difficult and I can see it weighing heavy on a relationship. So I'm, I'm kind of glad that it didn't really have, I don't know, it didn't really have an effect, but yeah. Um, being noticed by boys, you know, now dating after surgery, um, it's fun now. Like I, it's fun now. It's fun to go out. I definitely flirt with dudes, but like, I'm just, I'm not, I don't, I don't do dates. I haven't done dates. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys updated on that. <laughs> okay, I have one last piece of advice and it is kind of a big one and it is about comparing yourself to others who have had the same surgery, the same experience, whatever it may be. I get a lot of questions um, saying like, it'll be very nice comments, but they will end with, and my body looks like yours or like, I, I think that I'm around the same weight and height as you. Okay, every single body is different. Every single journey is different. How you carry your weight might not necessarily be how I carried mine, even though we are the same size and the same height or whatever it may be, the same age. Like, everything's different. It depends on how you eat after surgery, how I eat after surgery, what cardio I do, how little cardio I do. Like, whatever, you know, workout regimen or anything that goes into this whole process is so different per person that comparing yourself will kill you. Like, it will destroy you. Because I look at people who have had the same, <laughs> the same surgery as me, or the same height as me, the same weight as me, and she's at 120 and I'm sitting at 170, and I've been consistently at 170 for two months. And it's like that that sucks and like and if I constantly compared myself to her this process wouldn't be worth it like it wouldn't be like if I was sitting here like why the hell aren't I 120 like it wasn't worth it having all this surgery to not be 120 isn't worth it but having all this surgery going through all these struggles going through all the obstacles is so worth it to lose 90 pounds does that make sense like are you guys feeling what I'm saying like if you are constantly comparing yourself and your journey to somebody else, you will get nowhere and it will be so diminishing towards you. So really, really try not to. Like take take your journey and your path for what it is and focus on you. Like really, this year that you have surgery, like if you are just starting to get into it, you're like three weeks out from having surgery or you're two days out from having surgery, Listen to me when I say take this year to figure out who you are like figure out what you like and what you don't like take up new hobbies that you wouldn't necessarily do before find new workout regimens find new health regimens find new friends that like are supportive in the journey like whether it be through WLS like maybe you found friends who have had WLS like literally just take this year to reconstruct your life because for me, like I said, this was a huge year for me. I lost 90 pounds. I opened a new business. I turned 21. I was in my first serious relationship. I got out of my first serious relationship. I traveled. I went to different conventions and events and I experienced so many things. And I look back to the person I was and it's nowhere near the same. Like nowhere near. I'm nowhere near the person that I was when I sat in my freaking bedroom at my parents' house. I now live on my own. I'm nowhere near that girl and I don't want the same things that she wanted then and I'm really proud uh, like I'm gonna start crying because I'm really really proud of the progress that I've made and I know I have so much more to go and I'm not gonna freaking cry during this video so yeah I just I urge you guys to to do what's best for you and to love yourself unconditionally and do things that are solely for you and I know not, that not many people have that opportunity or they think they don't have that opportunity, but I think it's just, I think it's really important. I think that having gone through this has completely changed the way that I view life and people and love and happiness and friends and family and everything in between. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I'm sorry if it was super lengthy. Um, I know I'm a chatterbox, so I'm sorry about that. I will have another video up next week all about my workout and food regimen. So if you guys have any questions about that, actually this is the perfect video to leave questions um, down below for that video. And yeah, I will see you guys next week. In the meantime, make sure to follow all of my social media links down below. I have Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram. Although I think... Instagram is about to get a little bit different. I've been focusing on makeup a lot because I thought that that's what I wanted to do and I said that this was going to be my last weight loss update video 
But I think I'm really gonna dive into more lifestyle stuff. Um, I feel like that's where, like, my heart is going so I think that that's what I'm going to do so I'm not gonna say that this is my last update video because who knows but I definitely don't want this channel to be focused around weight loss so um yeah that was a tangent anyway snapchat instagram those are kind of like my favorite social medias and it's the best way to find me especially snapchat I'm a little bit biased because my snapchat fam is amazing but yeah anyway okay I love you guys and I will see you guys next week have a great day or night wherever you may be remember you are all beautiful human beings worthy of love and happiness and I will see you guys in my next video toodles